Good morning, John. Thanks a lot for your video yesterday. I wish that I could say that it prevented me from constantly refreshing my feed. Last night, it did not. I'm still kind of doing it. We are very slow at counting votes in Montana. But I also want to tell you about an idea that me and some friends have had in a similar vein, uh, which is why I'm wearing a sport coat today. Earlier this year, I posted a really bad idea on Twitter. It said, what if you had to go to a place to watch a YouTube video? The most common response to this, of course, was, thanks, I hate it. Look, I understand. But just because that idea is bad, doesn't mean you shouldn't get obsessed with it and think about it for eight months and then finally do something that's a little bit of a different version. We'll get there. So I love the internet. I love the social nature of the internet. I love the good, interesting social things the internet has done. I love Nerdfighteria. But now I feel like a little bit maybe the pendulum has swung too far. And now I'm suddenly much more interested in innovating in the space of physical experiences. Whoa. So that's one piece. The other piece is, you might remember a long time ago, I did an internet trivia game called Truth or Fail, and it was great, but relied on YouTube annotations and so is now literally impossible. But what if you could only watch Truth or Fail if you went to a physical place? And I know what you're thinking. Now you're thinking, Hank, you just invented pub trivia. Like, that's also already a thing. And so we have. But also, I think this idea changes if you look at it from different angles. So truth or fail trivia. It's a thing. It exists. It's available now. And it's available in various forums. But let's talk a little bit about what it is. Complexly, our production company that is SciShow and Crash Course puts together a bunch of questions. There's a standard version, which is like any other pub trivia. So it's hosted by a person in the place where you are. It comes with a very pretty slideshow designed by SciShow's Hiroko Matsushima. And those slides have the questions on it, which is great. One of my big pub trivia pet peeves is that sometimes you can't hear the questions and some people can't hear well at all, and so it's very hard to play if you don't hear the questions. There's also the hosted version, which is a full-length, five-round trivia, all hosted by people who are on the TVs. And those people include me, but also other hosts of SciShow. All you need is somebody to set it up, push play on the video, and then do the scoring. Both of those packages have one guest video round that's gonna be guest hosted by a bunch of my internet friends. But also I think that, like, bars aren't the only place where this is a good idea and we've been thinking about it in like the bar frame for too long and so we've got a pub package which is a, a weekly subscription where you get a new one every week but there's also a school package where you buy it a semester at a time so basically for the cost of bringing one tenth of a medium popular band from the 2000s to the campus to play for one 90 minute set you can get a whole semester of trivia the reason i'm so excited about truth or Field trivia like excited enough to to add it to the list of things that I'm doing. It's just the idea of friends coming together to meet at a place, in a space, and have these physical experiences that are a little bit mediated so not all of the social pressure is on you to make you make the thing interesting. And also, with pub trivia, there's like a very good reason to not look at your phone, because you could be cheating. So you have to not look at your phone for a while. And phones are great, don't get me wrong, the internet is great. But so is just being dumb with some folks for a while, like learning and connecting and building community and winning and losing and learning things about each other. Thanks to the hard work of a lot of great people, this is the thing that's gonna be in the world. If you're interested in us letting you know if uh, Truth or Field Trivia shows up nearby you, there's a survey down in the description that is very quick and easy to fill out. And if you wanna get a business or school or organization that you work with involved, there's also a survey in the description for you. Now there's also a chance that no one wants this, and if not enough people sign up, we won't be able to do it. So sales are open now at trutherfail.com for a low introductory price, and the trivia starts going out in early 2019. Thanks, John. I'll see you tomorrow.